things out of the six that I listed on the previous slide is to be able to look at a graph, see the line, and to tell what the equation is. You build toward that from the slope-intercept form. It's the easiest form to use when you're looking at a line. So you should be familiar with this uh, setup, y equals mx plus b. And in order to fill it in with more specifics, I need to know what that m is, what that slope is, and what that b is, what that y-intercept is. Well, first let's calculate m, let's calculate slope. Notice that I'm going down 5 in order to go over 2 in order to move from one point that goes through crosshairs on the, on the grid to another point that does. And so there, negative 5 over 2. Remember, slopes change in y over change in x. And b is simply where your graph crosses the y-axis. It's crossing it at negative 3. And that's your equation. That It's as simple as that. So go ahead and do that, if you would, for these two. Hit the pause button. Okay, I'm going to assume that you did that. The one on the left is the easier of the two, even though it happens, or in my opinion, even though it happens to be um, crossing and finding its uh, y-intercept between crosshairs. And here's that equation that I was expecting you would have written down. Now you might have written this as negative 0.5, you might have written this as negative 1.5, um, but you should have something like this, and you should not have this as 6 fourths, or for example, you should be simplifying th things down. The one on the right, the challenge there, and really the only challenge, is that you have to identify places where the line, the blue line, is going through crosshairs. If you don't, it becomes harder to identify slope and y-intercept. Well, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable saying that it goes through negative 1, but here it really doesn't look like it does. And in fact, it doesn't look to me, along the course of the whole blue line, like it ever precisely goes through crosshairs. So I will say that coming up with an equation when you're looking at a graph is a little bit of a judgment call. I ended up coming up with this. I ended up saying, that um, the slope was 3 over 4. I felt like if I went up, up 3, I went up over basically 4. And I couldn't really be a whole lot more precise than that with the graph that I was given. Second step, and this is the easiest, you really have to be fast at this. Remember, if I give you the slope and I give you the y-intercept, well, we did teach you the slope-intercept method. So you simply fill in for m and b those numbers. So um, again, m for b minus 4. I won't even um, bother having you practice one of those. I assume that you can do that. Instead, I'll move on to Stace's idea in a very short continuation.